Well, I think one of the things that makes this really cool is how unique the milk bank is. There are only 32 milk banks throughout the country, so to have one here in our own community and here in our health system is so important. Breast milk has unique qualities and components that you can't find in other substitutes. So if a baby doesn't have access to their mom's own milk, then by providing pasteurized donor human milk, we can make sure they do get access to those unique characteristics. And this is especially important to babies in the neonatal intensive care unit because it can actually help prevent life-threatening conditions. That's where pasteurized donor human milk comes in. So milk is dropped off to the Henry Ford Milk Bank, frozen in deposit bags, the storage bags that um, moms typically pump into. And the first step is to evaluate the milk and make sure that it has been labeled correctly, that it is frozen and intact and free of any physical contamination. It's a very extensive process because we want to keep the milk safe. We need to make sure that every bag that was pumped was from a verified donor and that it was from a time period that they were approved to donate milk. So when we're ready to start processing milk, we gather together um, milk from five to seven different moms. We bring it into our clean room, which is where we do our processing, and we let it thaw there. When it's ready in liquid form, then it's time to pool that milk together and then it's time to dispense it into bottles. Once it's it's in the bottles, we seal it, and then it can go into the pasteurizer where we follow um, the, the best practices for safety standards to make sure it's as safe as possible for the recipients. Once the milk comes out of the pasteurizer, it goes straight into the freezer and we hold it there until it's officially approved. In order to be approved, it has to go through significant testing. Two people have to sign off on every step of the process to verify that it did pasteurize appropriately, that the cultures came back negative, and that um, every step of the processing procedure was followed exactly according to policy. This has been um, just the most incredible experience for me to be able to build this from the ground up. And it's just been amazing to learn what goes into starting a milk bank, what goes into making sure that every single drop of milk is healthy and that provides the best nutrition to babies who need the best start. The people who reach out to us are so kind and so caring and so committed to helping other babies, um, babies they've never met. Having donor breast milk available to supplement on our breastfeeding journey at the beginning made me feel like I was providing solid nutrition for my baby from the very beginning, even though my milk hadn't fully come in yet. I look forward to hopefully donating some milk back to the milk bank. It can really help a mom and a baby. I know that the moms in the hospital would be appreciative because I was. I look forward to seeing how it grows. You know, I want to make pasteurized donor human milk available to as many people as needed. So I'm really excited to see how we can partner more with community organizations and become a flagship milk bank for the country to look at.